so the the main book that you've got is the cipher book on that's an ethical or hacking focus have you done anything else like not perhaps in a book but have you like uh, any other examples and ideas that you can share or perhaps another book using python to hack or something oh um yeah so my personal history was i was like a teenage wannabe hacker but i i didn't have any information at all and and it uh, i had some friends who were hackers uh, but then you, looking back on it, I realized actually they didn't know anything. They, they just made up <laughs> most of their claims. I, I realized like, uh, it's like, oh, what they were describing is actually impossible. And I think they just made it up. But I, I always had that interest in computer security. It's just that I, I sort of took the path into software development afterwards and then later uh, book writing. But yeah. uh, it is something that I was interested in. And so the closest thing that I, I, that I have is cracking codes with Python, which just goes into breaking those classic ciphers. And security is, is also just a very wide field. Encryption yeah. and cryptography is a small part of it. And then uh, if you want to go down that path, you'll have to learn a lot of mathematics as well. If you want to go into the creation of ciphers and, and cryptanalysis and that sort of thing. But um you didn't go to jail, so is that right? What? You didn't get into trouble. Sorry, you didn't go to jail or get into trouble for hacking, did you? Uh, my lawyer has advised me not to answer that question. <laughs> I'm a really good lawyer. Um, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go into that at all. Um, <laughs> I mean, this in the '90s, it was also just sort of hacking was also seen as more of a prank. I mean, infamously, yeah. the uh, the Morris worm, a uh, very early self propagating program that uh, ended up crashing a lot of systems that was written by Robert Morris just as an experiment more than anything that just quickly got out of control. But these days, it's not as funny uh, and simple as a prank because we have, well, just computers are so much more relevant to our lives. And uh, we have uh, viruses that send out spam emails. Uh, We have crypto locker uh, programs. We have issues with stalking. Uh, and and doxing people, and so the need for security is is much more heightened. And again, a, a lot of these uh, scams uh, that work online, they're just so much more relevant to our lives. And so that that is a very serious uh, topic. And I I also have this written in automate the boring stuff because especially with uh, GUI automation, uh, if you can write a Python program that controls the mouse and keyboard. Well, you can then use it to uh, just sign up for a million different free email accounts and then use yeah. those to uh, harass people. Or And I, I write up that, you know, it's a, a lot of the hacker folks that I know, uh, there is this tendency to think, well, as long as I'm being clever, I'm not doing something that's wrong. And, and it is this immaturity of not wanting to acknowledge that you can do harm and that you are doing yeah. harm. And it's like, well, I hacked into my friend's email address, but they don't know I did. So it's it's fine. And it's like, oh, uh, that's uh, like, are, are you their friend if you're doing things like that? And, and it's really easy to get excited about this power and, and capability that, that you can do, uh, that you really do need to stop yourself and say like, oh, I don't know, is this ethical? I mean, is it yeah. even ethical to write a program that just refreshes the web page over and over again so that I can buy tickets and get ahead of everybody else in line? And these are questions where, you know, just because you can do something, does that mean you should do it? Yeah, I'll say I'll say this on the channel, we, we I only advocate ethical hacking, not uh, right, like yes. that stuff. Yeah, because that yeah. Uh, people being knowledgeable about security, uh, there's a great demand for that um, yep. because of this. And so we do need people who are security professionals who can keep our systems uh, secure because not everybody has time to learn about uh, like, oh, well, you should have used such and such uh, encryption program because exactly. clearly yeah. uh, version two of this doesn't work. And, blah, and like all this detailed knowledge that, you know, People have other things that they're that they're doing. Um, not everyone can become a security consultant. 